the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group and registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 32. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. I have a little question I will throw in at this point from Jim. I will read it. The instrument's physical complex is now in the process of recovery from taking a chemical. She was ignorant of the opening that she was creating. How can each of the three of us present be more aware of how such openings may be created in our actions and thoughts? Is it possible that we could make such openings innocently as we question in certain areas during these sessions? And then, what can we do to protect ourselves from distorting influences in general? Is there any ritual or meditation that we use? I am raw. Although we are in sympathy with the great desire to be of service exemplified by this question, our answer is limited by the distortion of the way of confusion. We shall say some general things which may be of service in this area. Firstly, when this instrument distorted its bodily complex towards low vital energy due to this occurrence, it was a recognizable substance which caused this. This was not a, shall we say, natural substance nor was the mind-body-spirit complex enough aware of its distortion towards physical weakness. The natural ways of, shall we say, everyday existence in which the entity without the distortions caused by ingestion of strongly effective chemicals may be seen to be of an always appropriate nature. There are no mistakes, including the action of this instrument. Secondly, the means of protection against any negative or debilitating influence for those upon the positive path was demonstrated by this instrument to a very great degree. Consider, if you will, the potentials that this particular occurrence had for negative influences to enter the instrument. This instrument thought upon the Creator in its solitude and in actions with other self, continually praised and gave thanksgiving to the Creator for the experiences it was having. This in turn allowed this particular entity to radiate to the other self such energies as became a catalyst for an opening and strengthening of the other self's ability to function in a more positively polarized state. Thus we see protection being very simple. Give thanksgiving for each moment. See the self and the other self as Creator. Open the heart. Always know the light and praise it. This is all the protection necessary. Questioner. Thank you very much. I will now continue with the material from day before yesterday. Our subject is how sexual polarity acts as a catalyst in evolution and how to best make use of this catalyst. Going back to that material, I will fill in a few gaps that we possibly don't understand at this point too well. Can you tell me the difference between orange and yellow ray activation? I am going to work up from red ray right on through the violet, and we covered red ray. So what's the difference between orange and yellow ray activation? I am raw. The orange ray is that influence or vibratory pattern wherein the mind-body-spirit expresses its power on an individual basis. Thus power over individuals may be seen to be orange ray. This ray has been quite intense among your peoples on an individual basis. You may see in this ray the treating of other selves as non-entities, slaves, or chattel, thus giving other selves no status whatever. The yellow ray is a focal and very powerful ray and concerns the entity in relation to, shall we say, groups, societies, or large numbers of mind-body-spirit complexes. This orange we correct ourselves this yellow ray vibration is at the heart of Bellico's actions in which one group of entities feel the necessity and right of dominating other groups of entities and bending their wills to the wills of the masters. The negative path, as you would call it, uses a combination of the yellow ray and the orange ray in its polarization patterns. These rays, used in a dedicated fashion, will bring about a contact with intelligent infinity. The usual nature of sexual interaction, if one is yellow or orange in primary vibratory patterns, is one of blockage and then insatiable hunger due to the blockage. When there are two selves vibrating in this area the potential for polarization through the sexual interaction is begun, one entity experiencing the pleasure of humiliation and slavery or bondage, the other experiencing the pleasure of mastery and control over another entity. In this way a sexual energy transfer of a negative polarity is experienced. Questioner, from the material that you transmitted February 17th you stated, in third ray there are two possibilities. Firstly, if both vibrate in third ray there will be a mutually strengthening energy transfer. What color is third ray in this material? I am raw. The ray we were speaking of in that material should be properly the green ray or fourth ray. Questioner, so I should change that third to fourth? I am raw. This is correct. Please continue to scan for errors having to do with numberings, as you call them, as this concept is foreign to us and we must translate. If you will, 
when using numbers. This is an ongoing weakness of this contact due to the difference between our ways and yours. Your aid is appreciated. Questioner, okay. Thank you. I believe that for the time being we've amply covered Green Ray, so I am going to skip over Green Ray and go to Blue Ray. Could you tell me the difference that occurs between Green and Blue with the emphasis on Blue Ray? I am raw. With the Green Ray transfer of energy you now come to the great turning point sexually as well as in each other mode of experience. The Green Ray may then be turned outward, the entity then giving rather than receiving. The first giving beyond Green Ray is the giving of acceptance or freedom thus allowing the recipient of blue ray energy transfer the opportunity for a feeling of being accepted, thus freeing that other self to express itself to the giver of this ray. It will be noted that once green ray energy transfer has been achieved by two mind-body spirits in mating, the further rays are available without both entities having the necessity to progress equally. Thus a blue ray vibrating entity or indigo ray vibrating entity whose other ray vibrations are clear may share that energy with a green ray other self, thus acting as catalyst for the continued learned teaching of the other self. Until another self reaches green ray, such energy transfers through the rays is not possible. Questioner, my next question had to do with indigo ray. Is there any difference between indigo and blue ray energy transfer? I am raw. The indigo ray is the ray of, shall we say, awareness of the creator as self. Thus one whose indigo ray vibrations have been activated can offer the energy transfer of creator to creator. This is the beginning of the sacramental nature of what you call your bisexual reproductive act. It is unique in bearing the allness, the wholeness, the unity in its offering to other self. Questioner, and then finally, the violet ray. What is the difference between violet ray and the others? I am raw. The violet ray, just as the red ray, is constant in the sexual experience. Its experience by other self may be distorted or completely ignored or not apprehended by other self. However, the violet ray, being the sum and substance of the mind-body-spirit complex, surrounds and informs any action by a mind-body-spirit complex. Questioner, do the energy transfers of this nature occur in fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh density? I mean, of all the rays? I am raw. The rays, as you understand them, have such a different meaning in the next density and the next and so forth that we must answer your query in the negative. Energy transfers only take place in fourth, fifth, and sixth densities. These are still of what you would call a polarized nature. However, due to the ability of these densities to see the harmonies between individuals, these entities choose those mates which are harmonious thus allowing constant transfer of energy in the propagation of the body complexes which each density uses. The process is different in the fifth and the sixth density than you may understand it. However, it is in these cases still based upon polarity. In the seventh density there is not this particular energy exchange as it is unnecessary to recycle body complexes. Questioner, I am assuming from what we have previously looked at we have on earth today and have had in the past fourth, fifth and sixth density wanderers. As they come into incarnation in the physical of this density for a period as a wanderer, what types of polarizations with respect to these various rays do they find affecting them? Can you tell me that? I am raw. I believe I grasp the thrust of your query. Please ask further if this answer is not sufficient. Fourth density wanderers, of which there are not many, will tend to choose those entities which seem to be full of love or in need of love. There is the great possibility probability of entities making errors in judgment due to the compassion with which other selves are viewed. The fifth density wanderer is one who is not tremendously affected by the stimulus of the various rays of other self and in its own way offers itself when a need is seen. Such entities are not likely to engage in the, shall we say, custom of your people's called marriage and are very likely to feel an aversion to childbearing and child raising due to the awareness of the impropriety of the planetary vibrations relative to the harmonious vibrations of the density of light. The sixth density, whose means of propagation you may liken to what you call fusion, is likely to refrain, to a great extent, from the bisexual reproductive programming of the bodily complex and instead seek out those with whom the sexual energy transfer is of the complete fusion nature in so far as this is possible in manifestation in third density. Questioner, can you expand a little bit on what you mean by complete fusion nature? I am raw. The entire creation is of the one creator. Thus the division of sexual activity into simply that of the bodily complex is an artificial division, all things thusly being seen as sexual equally, the mind, the body, and the spirit. 
all of which are part of the polarity of the entity. Thus sexual fusion may be seen with or without what you may call sexual intercourse to be the complete melding of the mind, the body, and the spirit in what feels to be a constant orgasm, shall we say, of joy and delight each in the other's beingness. Questioner, would then many wanderers of the higher densities have considerable problems with respect to incarnation in third density because of this different orientation? I am raw. The possibility probability of such problems, as you call them, due to sixth density incarnating in third is rather large. It is not necessarily a problem if you would call it thusly. It depends upon the unique orientation of each mind-body-spirit complex having this situation or placement of vibratory relativities. Questioner, can you give me an idea how the different colors? This is a difficult question to ask. I hardly have any words. What I'm trying to get at is how the different colors I might say originate as these functions or the essence, you might say, of the origin of these colors as functions for these different expressions in consciousness. I don't know if this question is sufficient. I am raw. This question is sufficiently clear for us to attempt explanation of what, as you have observed, is not easily grasped material for the intellectual mind. The nature of vibration is such that it may be seen as having mathematically straight or narrow steps. These steps may be seen as having boundaries. Within each boundary there are infinite gradations of vibration or color. However, as one approaches a boundary, an effort must be made to cross that boundary. These colors are a simplistic way of expressing the boundary divisions of your density. There is also the time-space analogy which may be seen as the color itself in a modified aspect. Questioner, thank you. Is it possible for an entity in third density physical to vary widely across the entire band of colors or is the entity pretty well zeroed in on one color? I am raw. This will be the last full question of this working. Please restate for clarity. Questioner, I just meant was it possible, say, for a green ray when we're talking about green ray activation and energy transfers, is it possible for a green ray person who is primarily green ray activation to vary on both sides of green ray a large or a small amount in energy activation, or does he stay primarily green ray? I am raw. We grasp the newness of material requested by you. It was unclear, for we thought we had covered this material. The portion covered is this. The green ray activation is always vulnerable to the yellow or orange ray of possession, this being largely yellow ray but often coming into orange ray. Fear of possession, desire for possession, fear of being possessed, desire to be possessed. These are the distortions which will cause the deactivation of green ray energy transfer. The new material is this, once the green ray has been achieved. The ability of the entity to enter blue ray is immediate and is only awaiting the efforts of the individual. The indigo ray is opened only through considerable discipline and practice largely having to do with acceptance of self, not only as the polarized and balanced self but as the creator, as an entity of infinite worth. This will begin to activate the indigo ray. Questioner, thank you. I am raw. Do you have any brief queries before we close? Questioner. I think anything would be too long. I'll just ask if there's anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or make the contact better. I am raw. All is well. We caution not only this instrument but each to look well to the vital energies necessary for non-depletion of the instrument and the contact level. You are most conscientious, my friends. We shall be with you. I leave you now in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator, Adonai. And of session 32.